up, my beautiful friends? Let me show you how you can easily make a pot of delicious oven baked jello fries and say goodbye to burnt pots. To wash my chicken, I'm adding in some salt, a fresh squeeze of lemon, and some white vinegar. I am going to wash these drumsticks thoroughly and I'll remove its skins as well. I will transfer to a cooking pot. I will add a medium chopped onion, two tablespoons of my all-purpose veggie seasoning. The link is on the screen in case you need to know how I made it. Fresh thyme and few bay leaves. Combine and cover the simmer for 10 minutes without adding any water. Now that my drumstick has produced its own natural broth, I will add six to eight cups of water. I will carefully mix and then cover the simmer for 15 more minutes. An empty pot, I will add in about a quarter cup of oil. I will allow it to heat up for about a minute. Then I will add in a medium sized chopped onion. I will give it about a minute or two to sizzle out all of its flavor. I will add in a six ounce of tomato paste. I will take my time and work it in and to give it a that sour taste for about three to five minutes. I will also add in this roasted pepper mixture. It's a combination of some plum tomatoes, a couple of bell peppers, onion, few garlic, and some fresh ginger. Then I roasted them at a 400 degree oven for about 30 minutes. I then blend them up to this. Guys, the flavor you get from roasting prior to blending is mwah, no lie. I will also list in the link my super smoky seafood jello fries recipe. I'm gonna carefully combine them together. Yeah, enough time to have one kataka one day na one day. Just for about 10 minutes. <laughs> Guys, at this time I will stir to prevent my sauce from burning. I will pour in all of my chicken broth. I will combine and cover the simmer for just five more minutes. Guys, if you're hearing Chiyomi's voice for the first time and you haven't subscribed, this is the perfect time to do so. I'll be happy to have you here. And for my already subscribers who have been showing me love, thank you so much. So guys, at this time, I'm going to be adding in about two tablespoons of curry powder and two tablespoons of chicken seasoning powder, a tablespoon of thyme and some salt to taste, then combine. After combining my seasoning, this is the best time to add in my washed rice. I'm using four cups for this recipe. I will carefully combine my rice without smooshing them up, just like this. And finally, I will press in a few bay leaves for that perfect finishing jollof rice flavor and aroma. Here, I'm going to cover up my pot with foil making sure it is sealed tightly, then secure it with my pot lid. You can skip the pot lid entirely if you prefer. I will bake at a preheated 350 degree oven for exactly 35 minutes. Honestly guys, this is a fail proof method to get that smoky, popping jollof rice without burn pots. Trust me, once you get hooked with this method of making jollof rice, you're not gonna stop. With this method, you don't gotta be checking the pots, adjusting fire, adding water, just pop it in the oven and forget about it. Guys, if you find this video helpful, kindly give it a thumbs up and comment before clicking off. And if you still haven't subscribed, like seriously, why not? Kindly subscribe and be a part of this family. In this channel, I make healthy and easy to follow recipes. Until next time, ciao.